Hello there. Welcome to Carstead Partners Packaging Spotlight. Hi, I'm Kevin Carstead of Carstead Partners, and I'm here with uh, Mike Ferrari of Ferrari Innovative Solutions. Mike has is a 32-year veteran of uh, Procter & Gamble, seen a ton of things and innovations coming through, through there, worked with digital printing a lot there. Mike, tell us a little bit about what you're doing post Procter and & Gamble, and, uh, and then I want to talk to you about the, the things that we've seen in digital print for packaging since Drupa. But tell us a little bit about what you're doing first. Okay, well, thank, thank you for inviting me for this uh, interview, Kevin. And uh, since uh, my uh, retirement from Procter & Gamble, I've really continued the, the one main passion that I had that I started in Procter & Gamble, and that is digital printing. I, I'm proud of uh, the legacy I left behind there. Uh, and uh, Procter and Gamble moving into digital printing uh, for for several brands. Um, since that time, uh, now I can really follow up uh, around the world with what consumer product companies are doing in the way of attracting consumers in new, relevant, engaging, and interactive ways through packaging, and what technology is doing. And I'm trying to bring both of those together for, for people to use. So it's about what the problem is in the industry and what consumer uh, product companies are facing and their challenges and how digital technologies can now solve those for packaging to grow. And quite frankly, I uh, really go by the mantra of I'm trying to educate, guide, and inspire. And in doing that, I am looking to help consumer product companies with their new programs that are possible through digital printing. And I'm also helping uh, printers understand the new business of digital printing and what new marketing techniques they will have to go after and follow in order to be successful. Right. Well, and, and both of us were at Drupa. It doesn't 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 seem. Uh, I think the the beer has finally uh, left my system. But it's been almost a year. It's been, it was last May, and uh, and that and so many things were introduced at Drupa. I mean, if it wasn't anything, it was the the packaging Drupa, and then packaging slash digital packaging Drupa. It was it was quite amazing, and we saw a lot of uh, a lot of things coming out of Drupa. It seems like there were more and more players. You know anybody that had a machine that could that could print a sheet and print anything bigger than sixteen point board or thicker than sixteen point board was saying they had a packaging machine. There were probably fifteen of them there. Um, so there's there's a lot of new players in the marketplace now. Um, some of the stalwart companies, you know, HP and EFI and, and companies like that that have been around for a long time. When I say HP, I mean the Indigo folks. Um, but new players like Screen and Fujifilm and Konica Minolta. And some even newer players with the with the new technologies, Hikon and Skodex come to mind. And I know you're doing so. You've, you've got some uh, inside not inside work, but you've you've worked closely with the uh, the Hikon folks. What can you tell us a little bit about Hikon? And Hikon again is the is a company that came up with uh, digital die cutter, la laser die cutting for folding cartons. Um, can you share a little bit about that with us, Mike? Certainly. Uh, well, I'm. I'm proud to say that uh, I'm on their advisory board and the reason is I couldn't stay away. It was just <laughs> so exciting to have uh, not just digital printing capability but then to finish up the whole workflow in uh, digital finishing. So for those in folding cartons you have got to take a very hard look at the ability to have a totally digital workflow which is now possible. So that's exciting. That launched uh, that is in operation. Uh, there have been already several purchases. There is a demonstration center in Brussels. Uh, so things are really picking up and moving very, very nicely for that startup company and to really bring and create the awareness and to create the new capability in the industry. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I agree. I think it's, uh, it's a great time to be us. <laughs> um, because things are, are just are just picking up, and there seems to be so much momentum now um, in the uh, in the packaging space, and and we're talking about packaging, you know, kind of in all genres. Uh, just came from a from a digital packaging conference, and so, still seem to be talking about labels a lot because that's the um, kind of the, the that was the low hanging fruit of, of package printing for digital, but it's really opening up now for for for. Um, Flexible packaging and for and for folding cartons in, in particular. So there, there just really seems to, like I said, it's a good time to be us, isn't it? 
Absolutely. Uh, it's a, it, this is a transformation that's going on. This is not going to go away. It's only going to get stronger and bigger, and, and things will start to go mainstream. There's no doubt that you'll start to see labels first really bring and go into mainstream with some of these wide web presses. And then later on, uh, you'll see more growth in folding cartons like we've never had it before, mm -hmm. digitally printed, as well as flexible uh, film. And then, of course, shrink sleeve as well. So those will also start to explode. But I see the first packaging form to go mainstream will be labels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, great, Mike. It's been great talking to you here. Look forward to doing this again. And, uh, you know, take care and, and be good. Thanks. Thank you too, Kevin. Okay.